Hello and welcome to Lithuania Radio and Television, LRT. And for those of you who don't know it, LRT is the national public broadcaster in Lithuania with four TV channels and three nationwide radio stations. You know, being a public broadcaster means that LRT is focusing a lot of their production on current affairs, at least seven hours a day on their prime channel. With TV shows such as Good Morning Lithuania, Good Day Lithuania, Today, Panorama and the Evening News, LRT is the key media for political decision makers, business leaders and influencers to take part in the national debate. But folks, just like any other public broadcaster, LRT has its own set of challenges. Production is heavy. Each interview needs at least one cameraman and one reporter. Not to mention the logistical challenges of getting the interview recorded, shipped back to the station, edited and finally broadcasted. Production is often limited to the availability of TV crews and the interviewees. And folks, this is a real challenge if you want to get relevant comments to breaking news and you need to get them fast. And if that wasn't enough, LRT has an audacious vision to become the most modern broadcaster in the whole Baltic region. And here to execute on that vision is Mr. Arna Suikis, the Managing Director for Communications and Rights Management. Arnas, tell me about the LRT vision. LRT vision is the to become most modern broadcasting in Baltic region. And we are trying to reaching this, uh, our vision, uh, our uh, vision every, in everyday life. But being on the cutting edge uh, means that you often have to innovate. You, you can't do something that somebody's done before. And one thing you're working on is something called Red Carpet. Can you tell me what the Red Carpet project is all about? Yeah, we want to build a, a stand, as quite an imitating studio uh, and it's this solution connecting the live TV studio here in house with the remote location for example Parliament Lithuanian Parliament where we have every day uh, many interviews uh, for, for, for TV and even for, for the radio but actually is the most most interesting part is the TV because we have up to seven hours news and current affairs every day so, and you're using video conferencing to do that what are the key benefits for doing this the key benefits Fast production, very good quality. We, we, we will use. We would like to use the HD uh, quality without and without any delays, which is also very very uh, good solution. Then we can just have continuous dialogue together, and uh, low production costs is third benefit, which is really uh, very uh, important to us. And we can uh, we can take the. Uh, we, we shouldn't. We do not have to send the camera crews with a journalist, camera crew, sound man, and everybody. We just have a fixed studio uh, in fixed location where we have many reports, and then we just can use it for every any time we need. So, so I, I get the benefits for the TV station, but what about the benefits for the person you're interviewing? It's uh, actually good environment. You you need you do not need to come to the studio. You just need to present by by the by the stand, and as you have face to face, there's some con uh, continuous dialogue with it. TV host uh, sitting here, and you don't you don't need to, to pick the pick up the car. You, you just stand there where you are where you're walking. And actually, the stand should be in the middle of let's say uh, highway of the parliament, so everybody will go through, and then everybody can stop, and we can just call the parliament uh, somebody from parliament and say hello. Can you make just a few minutes interview? And it's very easy. It's it doesn't take a lot of time. You just go and, and speak. So it makes sense from you, for you from a production perspective and it makes sense for the person you're interviewing. It's easy to get to, to deliver the message. But does it serve any higher purpose? I mean, I do know that you have a public service um, responsibility. Yeah, the duties. Uh, actually, we need to be very fast and, and we need to, uh, to be very fast and, and to be, uh, to, to, uh, how to say, to be on time to, to deliver the messages. Uh, deliver the messages of our parliament uh, people to the uh, our audience, and this stand should uh, this stand this red carpet project it should really help us in this uh, solution.